Big full moon exploding for 4th of July. What does it mean? Absolutely. I wouldn't want to say it's a bad moon rising, but it's going to be a big moon rising. Yeah. We have the full moon tomorrow. Um, it's actually full at 2.52 in the afternoon, so tonight is when it will really look like it's at its peak. And it's the Cancer Capricorn full moon. And I don't like Capricorns for holidays. Well, see, a lot of people now will be watching this later in the week, so full... Uh, beginning on Tuesday. Tuesday. Looking big on Monday night. Looking big on Monday night. And then fortunately that energy wanes because okay. tensions build towards the full moon. At the moment of the full moon, that tension is all released. We got a moon. Uranus square tomorrow. So. Oh, um, you know it's I, bad I, when Uranus is not square. When you know when oh, there's the Uranus oh, square. Oh, that's terrible. But thank God that ends um, in time for 4th of July. Oh, I good. See okay. how I went right over that. Oh, so Uranus is only squared for a short time. Uh, very, you know how Uranus is. <laughs> Short time, short, quick, done. All right, enough um, of the crap. So What's the, the real deal? <laughs> for the full moon for all 12 signs. For Cancers and Capricorns, it brings their relationships into focus. And they need to take a really hard look at their existing relationships and decide whether or not that meets their needs. And it also, it, it's not just partnerships, but it's any intimate one-to-one -one relationship comes under the, the gun um, this week for Cancers. For Leos, they need a break. They need to take a little time off. They need to take a step back. They're kind of tired, out of energy, uh, and need to literally kind of regroup a bit to take everything that's happened into consideration and figure out their game plan. And then when when this full moon is done, they come back out with a vengeance, <laughs> which is great. For Virgos, it's in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And the love principle is the one that Virgos, Virgos really want to have fun. And normally they don't because they're a kind of critical, picky sign. But they really want to have a good time um, this this week, particularly on 4th of July. For Libra, um, this full moon is in their 4th house of home. And normally, I would tell Libras, you know, you really got to pay attention to your career, but home life really needs some attention now. And they need to stick a little close to home over the holiday instead of traveling and going to a bunch of different places. For Scorpio, this particular full moon is in their, th their third house of day-to-day -day living. So they've got a lot of short distance, short duration travel. So it's kind of out and backs. Meaning they're not just going to go to one party. They'll go to two or three or four. For Sagittarians, the money got smile on them somehow. While everybody else is out partying and vacationing, Sagittarians end up making more money, which is a great thing for them. For Capricorn, it is in there. Um, it's about the Capricorn getting what the Capricorn wants. Um, even though partners have, have had a lot to say to Capricorns, the Capricorn is going to stand now on saying, okay, what about me? What about my feelings? What about where do I fit in all of this? For Aquarians, um, they are going to have to work. I'm sorry to say it. Everybody else is partying and having a good time. I'm guessing um, the Aquarian does all the work involved with that. For Pisces, they have the most fun this holiday weekend. This is a great, great one for them. And they find the love, which is something that they've been looking for for the last six months because they've been yelled at for six months. Um, for Aries, it is in their fourth house of home. And it looks to me like the party is at the Aries house and they do all of the work. For Tauruses, um, they also have the hit and run kind of thing where they've got a couple of different places to be so they can't dawdle. Not just one party. They've got a group a bunch of things that they need to hit it and get it. Yeah, and then, pass, uh, pass up to her eyebrows and kneecaps and everything. Oh, uh, and you know, she just needs to not get bogged down in one thing, which is always the challenge. And the last sign, Gemini, um, the money gods smile on them. And they benefit from other people's resources. So money almost falls out of the sky on them, which is a very cool thing. So it's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. I'm thankful to live in the United States. I'm grateful for our independence and freedom. And you could say a lot of ugly things about this country, but I sure don't want to live anywhere else. So. No, there's a lot that um, is, is right about That's America. That's exactly right. We need to remember that on Wednesday. And so. thanks to those folks who kept it that way, our servicemen and women. That's exactly right. And a lot of them aren't home for this holiday. A lot of them are coming home, but a lot of them aren't home. And, and my thanks to them for keeping us safe. So. They're in our thoughts and prayers. God bless you, dear. And Always God bless America. Have a safe trip.